setting a router as a repeater. If you have an old functioning spare router, then it can be configured as a repeater for the primary router's Wi-Fi signal. This will help you to extend your Wi-Fi coverage area. Today we shall see how to configure a router as a repeater. We have TP-Link's Archer C6 set as our primary router, and we shall configure our D-Link Star 816 as a repeater. This is the SSID of our primary router. SSID is the name of the wireless network that we connect to. We will need this SSID while configuring our repeater. We will first reset our repeater router which is D-Lynx DIR816. The router's back panel has a small reset button. Press and hold the reset button for 10 seconds, and then release the button. This will reset your router to its factory settings. Note that, the position of the reset button changes depending upon the model of your router. Please refer to your router's user manual for the same. Once your router is reset, connect your device to it using its default SSID. This is our default SSID, which we will change later on. There will be no password. And if SSID has any default password then it will be mentioned on your router's bottom panel. Once connected, look at the bottom panel of your router. You will find your router's default login details like IP address, username, and password. Make a note of them as we will need them ahead. Our default IP address is 192.168.0.1, the username is admin and the password is blank. Now, open any web browser and type the default IP address of the router. If you see this window then just scroll down, and click on Save Changes. Here we will log in using our default username as, admin, and a password that is, blank. This is our router's configuration panel. For security, we will first reset our router's default password. We will change it to something else from, blank. Click on the Maintenance tab. Then, to the left, click on Admin. From User Account Table, select Admin. Our old password was blank. So we will leave it as it is, and set a new password. Then confirm the same. Then click, Modify. This has changed our router's admin password. Now, we can log into our router using our newly set password. Our old, blank, password will not work. Since our DIR816 is a dual-band router, we have two wireless settings. One is for a 2.4 GHz band and the other is for the 5 GHz band. We will now set new SSID names and security keys for both wireless settings. Click on the Wireless tab. This is our 2.4 GHz band setting. Make sure that Enable SSID Broadcast is checked. Here provide any name that you want to give to your 2.4 GHz wireless connection. We give it as data. Under Security Options select, WPA-PSK or WPA-2-PSK-AES combined. Now set a pre-shared key for your 2.4 GHz network. The pre-shared key is like a password for your network connection. When you try to connect any device to this network, then you will have to provide its pre-shared key. Click Apply to finalize these settings. Similarly, we will configure SSID and pre-shared key for wireless 5G. Now, as we have configured our wireless settings, it's time to configure our router in repeater mode. Click on, Wireless, tab. Then towards the left, click, Wireless Repeater. Under Wireless Repeater Setup, checkmark the, Repeater Enable checkbox. Now click on, Site Survey. Click OK. Wait for the countdown to complete. 
During this time, the router will look for all the available networks in its Wi-Fi coverage area. Once completed, you will see a list of all the available SSID in the range. Select the SSID or the name of the network that belongs to our primary router. In our case, this is our primary router's SSID. Note that, if the site survey doesn't show your primary router's SSID, then either try the site survey again or physically reduce the distance between your primary router and the repeater router. Once selected, click Next. This is a very important step. Under Security Encryption, put the pre-shared key of your primary router's wireless network. It is the password, or the PIN, that you provide in order to connect your device to your primary router's Wi-Fi. Then, click Next. Here, we can change the IP address of our repeater router. This will prevent access conflict between the primary and repeater router if their default IP addresses are the same. In my case, they are the same. So I will change my repeater router's IP address from 192.168.0.1 to 192.168.0.10. Click Finish. Click OK. Let the countdown end. Now I can access my repeater router using IP address 192.168.0.10 and primary router using IP address 192.168.0.1. Log into the repeater router and check the connection status. It shows connected. Here you can see that my device is connected to data, which is the SSID of my repeater router's Wi-Fi. And this was my primary router's SSID. We can check the internet connection by browsing. Internet is working fine. We have successfully configured our spare D-Link's DIR816 router as a repeater to our primary router's Wi-Fi. Thank you for your time and patience. Have a nice day.